Hey everybody, welcome to the first edition of my 1980 Detroit Lions alternate history season. Uh, we're still working the title. It's a, it's a working title right now. Uh, but we're going to play a full season of uh, Detroit Lions football starting in 1980. And uh, we're going to use the uh, 2017 edition of Football Mogul. And so running concurrently with this season, uh, there will be a contest. And uh, today we're announcing that contest. And I guess the easiest way to try to explain what uh, this contest is going to involve, um, I guess first, let's just say this, you need to be a subscriber to my channel. I'm sure most of you already are. You're following my um my uh, 2022 uh, 1983 uh, Detroit Tigers season replay. And if you're following that, you kind of know how things work with me. Uh, so you need to be a subscriber uh, to be part of this contest. And then what I'm going to ask from you is every week, um, there will be a separate video uh, from the actual gameplay uh, where you will have to uh, predict the winner of the game based on the point spread as you see right here. So, for example, the Detroit Lions are going to open up at home versus the Chicago Bears. And Detroit is giving three to the Bears. And so, you're going to predict, will Detroit win by three? Or will you take the Bears and the points? Okay? And so, uh, you're going to try to predict the winner. And then I want you to predict whether your the uh, score will be over or under uh, the uh, the uh, advertised over under points. So right now, game one is at 36 and a half points. So would you go over or under those points? Okay. And how this is going to work? We'll take a look, and then I'll announce the uh, the prize here momentarily. But I have an Excel spreadsheet here. Well, I'll list all the contestants, and at the top, we'll have what the game predicts. So Detroit by three, um, and a 36 and a half per point spread. And then, for example, this is just an example. Uh, Dave, I'm sure Dave from Not Your Status Quo will participate, and this is not his choice. This is just a, an example, but I will put down uh, Dave is from Chicago, so I'm assuming he'd, he'd want to pick Chicago. Uh, to win, take those three points and do the over for the 36 and a half um, up, up, uh, point total. Okay, so I'll put your name here if you enter the contest and then I'll put your information here and then in the, in the below, we'll put down whether or not uh, you were correct and we'll do this every week for the 16 week schedule. Okay. Um, After the game, I would imagine that if there are injuries or adjustments that need to be made by me for my team or the Packers, for example, in game two, the point spread and the over-under will probably switch. So I would not advise it, uh, if you're participating in the contest, to go ahead and try to give me all 16 right away. There's no benefit to that as far as I can tell. Now... What is my experience with this game? Uh, am I like some novice or am I an expert? I have never played this game before, ever. I've never even played a practice game to see how the gameplay is. Um, so keep that in mind when you're choosing whether or not you think uh, the point spread is accurate or the over-under is accurate. I don't know what will happen when this game starts to play. Um, what I will give you it's not really a cheat code, but I'm going to show you who the Lions are. And if you take a look here, you'll see that Gary Danielson is our quarterback for the 1980 season. This is our starting lineup, by and large. Gary Danielson did not play in 1979. He was injured, and the team used Jeff Comlo, who had 11 <laughs> touchdowns and 23 interceptions. And which is, you know, like that's pretty normal for this era of football. So that's the bad news. Our quarterback is not going to be great. Der Gary Danielson was serviceable in his time as a Lions quarterback. Billy Sims is in his rookie year. 
let me tell you about Billy Sims. One of my heroes as a child. Uh, I was nine years old in this, uh, in this season, 1980. Billy Sims was the Heisman Trophy winner for Oklahoma in 1978. He was drafted by the Lions number one overall in 1980. So he's the number one overall draft pick. He was the last um, Oklahoma player to be drafted number one overall until Sam B Bradford was drafted in 2010. Billy Sims went on to win the Rookie of the Year in 1980, and he led all of football with 16 touchdowns. That's uh, combined re uh, rushing and receiving. Nobody had more combined touchdowns than Billy Sims. He's a three-time Pro Bowler. Um, he retired uh, as the all-time leader in rushing yardage for the Detroit Lions, uh, which, of course, Barry Sanders came along and uh, took that over um, as the all-time Detroit Lions uh, rushing leader. He only played five seasons for Detroit. In 1984, he blew out his knee in a game versus uh, Minnesota. Absolutely shredded his knee, never played again. And he is one of three Detroit Lions players, number, uh, a uniform number of number 20. All three of them have been uh, retired. That, that jersey number has been retired. So that's obviously Barry Sanders, Billy Sims, and the Hall of Famer Lem Barney, who was a uh, cornerback uh, in the uh, se uh, 60, late 60s, early 70s for the uh, Lions. So, um, so this is our offense. Uh, Dexter Bussey, he was the, the Lions' all-time leading rusher until Billy Sims came along. He's the fullback. David Hill, a very good tight end in his this uh, period of football. And our two wide receivers, which are pretty solid. Our offensive line is not good, so I don't know how that's going to affect the rushing. Um, we'll take a look at our special teams. You see the bench here? There's nobody here that you really want to go to. A lot of these players, I've already gone through and put together a playbook. So a lot of these players will get opportunity to, to play. Um, special teams, we have Eddie Murray, who was the uh, all-time points leader for the Lions. He is a rookie in 1980. Um, so he was the all-time points leader until Eric Hansen came along and broke that record. And Tom Skuldady, uh was an all-pro uh, punter for the Lions. Uh, he was a rookie of the year before, I believe. And you'll see there's our, um, our kick return and punt return uh, guys, which I have no idea. They could be changed throughout the season. Defensively, Lions were not great, uh, but they were improving uh, during this period. Al Bubba Baker, I believe, once led the um, NFC in sacks. Sacks were not a stat uh, yet in uh, football, so that's why there's no numbers there. Um, but you can see uh, we have some pretty solid... Uh, guys up front, uh, good linebackers, great cornerbacks. Uh, Jim Allen, I met him personally, great guy. A lot of these guys I actually have their autographs from. Uh, we do have Curly Culp, who's a Hall of Famer, uh, but he's, he's at the end of his uh, career here. Um, and you see the backups here. So, uh, yeah, so there are the uh, Detroit Lions for this season. I guess I should show you the Bears because we are playing them in the uh, week one. So let's take a look at the Bears lineup real quick, and then we're going to tell you what you're going to win. Here is the Bears offense. Vince Evans has been slated as their starter. Mike Phipps was primarily the starter uh, during this period. Um, Vince Evans was the quarterback that bridged uh, this era from um, you know below standard team to uh, when the punky QB got here, Jim McMahon. So... Uh, yeah, Vince Evans, at least as of right now, is slated to be the starter. The great Walter Payton, I, he finished uh, second in total uh, rushing yards uh, behind, I believe it was um, Earl Campbell. So, uh, he, you know, obviously they're going to have a pretty good rushing game. Uh, tight end who never started. Uh, a couple wide receivers are not great. And you can see their um, offensive line here. Their backups. Uh, Roland Harper, uh, pretty decent running back, actually. He um, he did not play in 1979 due to injury. But the prior year, 
he did have 900 rushing yards. Matt Suey, um, I believe he was on the Super Bowl Bears. Uh, and take a look at the special teams. They got the two Bobs, Bob Thomas, Bob Parsons, as their kicker punter. They got some backups. Um, and here's the defense. They got the great uh, Hall of Famer, Dan Hampton there, um, who will eventually be on the um, Super Bowl team. Taking a look down. I mean, they have a pretty good defense. Uh, yeah, they have really good defense, other than maybe the defensive ends there, so, you know, rating-wise. Uh, they even have Gary Fensick, who is not in the lineup, but he probably could be with that rating. Actually, he's equal to Doug Plank and Lenny Walterscheid. So, anyway, there's all the information that I could possibly give you prior to week one. Week one will be played on the first Sunday of football for the season, which is September 11. So uh, that's when we'll play this game. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, tell you what the prize is. I've got it right here. We're going to pull it up uh, here. Grand prize will be this Billy Sims 2021 Panini Illusions autograph card. Autograph Billy Sims number 20. Included will be a piece of game-used jersey, or it might be the pants. It doesn't say which it is. On the back, it is. Um, it does say that it is game-used. So uh, you get a game-used piece of jersey and his autograph, and it is numbered 41 out of 50. So only 50 of these cards were made. Uh, the grand prize winner uh, will get this card. So um, let's... And as you know, if you follow any of my other contests I've ever had, um, there's always extra prizes included. But this is the grand prize here. Um, let's get back to the game here real quick. So, as a reminder, in this video, or any video, um, you know, up to game day, which is going to be September 11th, you can get into this contest. Now, if you miss a week, either at the beginning or somewhere through the season... You could still participate. I mean, who knows? By week six, the winner may have only guessed correctly twice uh, on the point spread. So, um, so as, a re as a quick reminder, you're going to guess the point spread. This is how the winner will be determined. If there's a tie, the over-under will be the determining factor whether you guess this correctly or not. Okay? Hopefully that all makes sense. I didn't mean it to be so complicated. But um, I want it to be, uh, you know, a fun contest where you can have something to look forward to every week. Uh, so in the comments below, let me know that you want to be involved. Make sure you are a subscriber. Tell me, do you want Detroit, do you expect Detroit to win uh, by giving up three points to the Bears? Or do you take the Bears and the three points? And do you want to go over under the 36 and a half point spread? Okay. I mean, over under total. Okay. Let's not confuse it any more than it already is. That's all we got for today. Uh, if you have any questions also, you can put them in the comments below. I'll respond as quickly as I can. So we are taking week one predictions all the way up until uh, game day on September 11. Okay, that's going to do it. I hope everyone's satisfied with that. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, your responses below. Until next time, everyone, have a great day.